Hello everybody, my name is Shredtex and welcome back to Star Setter. We're going to be doing a brand new series, a bit of a challenge one actually, where I'm only allowed to use carriers in my, in my playthrough. There will be no ships in my combat fleet that do not have fighter bays, everybody. They must all have some kind of flying friend with them. Now, upon that, we're going to be starting a brand new game. I'm going to be using only one mod for this series, which is the Next Rhythm mod, which allows the game to be a bit of a 4x super strategy game, so everyone's trying to kill each other at the same time, but I'm just going to be a regular guy flying around doing his own business. Uh, let's get rid of the help pop-ups, and I'm going to be named, as you may just pick a character first, I'm going to play as this guy. Magne Poctores. Now, if you translate that in Google Translate, you will see why I named him that very thing. Anyway, apart from that, if we go to next game, I'm going to make sure we're on randomized worlds. Also, let me just make sure the settings are all correct here. Randomized relations. We might get some really random wars at the start of the game. So, there's only one ship at the start of the game you can normally pick, which has a fighter bay. And it's not exactly a combat ship, <laughs> but I'm sure we'll be fine. Now, if I just try and find it quickly, it might take a while. Sometimes I'd click this like that. Ah, there it is. The Shepherd Drone Tender. This is a cargo vessel which also has mining drones. It's it's not going to go very well for us at the start, everybody, but we're going to try our best to get as far as we possibly can with this absolutely terrible ship. But we will try and get a real fighter bay thing as soon as possible. Now, as for stats, I'm going to probably pick, as I don't really have any redeeming combat abilities, the more top speed and targeting for my drones. I don't know if it's going to be much of a difference, but at least when we get some like fighters like Gladiuses or like Broadswords, it'd be a lot more powerful. Anyway, let's start the game, shall we? Okay, everybody, we've loaded up in our galaxy. This is the galaxy just for us. It's completely randomized, and we are currently starting off in a hegemony world in the middle of the star sector. Now, it looks like there's not many missions available, probably because we're quite far away from the rest of society, so there must be a lot of, like, um, people with nearby systems, like over here, for instance. But it's okay. It looks like the game started us off with a, a nice little derelict ship mission, which I will take. It's pretty no easy normally. You fly to a system, you look at a ship, you get paid 30 grand, you go home, sort it. Now, I would like to get money as soon as possible, so we can maybe upgrade our ships from Shepherds to proper carriers or some description. Now, there is a few we can probably choose, like for instance, if I see if there's any around here, is there a, ah, like a Condor for instance. We would actually be able to have any ship we want, a uh, fighter and bomber on that ship if we get one. But now though, I am going to buy a another Shepherd, just so I get some backup in case we're attacked by enemies. I also need more crew if I'm doing this as well. We should probably double check what weapons our ships have at the moment. So I got saw, saw missiles, which are not amazing, but it's okay. And also we got ourselves nothing. <laughs> probably want to give them some backup then. What we do, we will give this dude a anti-shield weapon and also a tactical laser. I would normally like using missiles, but I think a tactical laser is a pretty good option as well. Unfortunately, though, his actual um, damage is on the flight deck. So it's probably the worst E mod you can get if you want to be a fighter guy. But I think it would be okay. As for me, I've already got a light machine gun. So I might switch that out for auto cannon as well. And I will probably keep the swarm missiles. They're pretty good against so level pirates. So we should be okay. Okay. I'm happy with that. Let's get going, shall we? So the mission I accepted is all the way over here. And it looks like... We have to scan a ship by a volcanic world, which doesn't sound too bad if you ask me. I will, by the way, in general, try and cut out a lot of the travel time. Uh, but if something interesting happens, we can always see it in the video, of course. But a lot of the time in Star Sector, you're flying around the map trying to get to different places. So there's a lot of um, just travel time. What is that? Someone's trying to kill me and they've got me as well. Oh, no, it's too many. There's too many. Nope, that's not good. How do we avoid this situation? I'm going to probably duck inside, immediately go back outside again, and then we'll emergency burn away. Ah! <laughs> oh no, he's doing exactly the same thing I just did. No, he's just he's slightly faster than me. Oh, we got away with it. That was a lucky escape. The problem is, um, me doing that, I've run out of fuel. Um, so you might have noticed that I'm now drifting towards the nearest star system. <laughs> Now, I don't know if anything's inside here, but we might just be stuck in the middle of nowhere. So that was probably not the best start we can hope for. Wait, is that... Ah, oh, no, I was actually like seconds away from where I actually needed to be. So we have a look around here. Let's see if we can find ourselves some loot. Now, normally, you can find random stuff no matter where you go. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I always think it's funny. Every time I play this game, I always find the Legion class battleship pretty much in the first episode. And this is probably a record. It's been, what, three or four minutes? Okay, so we found ourselves a battle carrier. I could technically take this. <laughs> and then we immediately start the game with a battle carrier. But I feel like that's cheating. Because this is way too quick to have such a cool ship right at the start of the game. Not to mention I can't afford to use it either. I'm going to scrap it. It's going to really annoy some people. And we get loads of stuff in return. Um, we'll take all that. Thank you very much. By the way, that is a cool ship to find. But there's loads of them. You find like these 20 or 30 times in a playthrough. They're all over the systems. It's ridiculous. But it does mean that we immediately get loads of new supplies. And we can leave the system without too much of a problem. I can't believe that happened. <laughs> Every time, everybody. Every time. Okay. Exploring is a very, very good way of getting stuff, by the way. Um, can you imagine if this is... Oh, no. This technically... I could use this. This is actually a carrier as well. Should I take it? Oh, no. It's really damaged. We'll leave it be for now. If we want one later on, we'll come back and pick it up. Let's do the mission for now, though. What the hell? That's probably a sensor malfunction, don't worry about that. So we know that this is the system we're meant to be in, and we have to go towards this jump point right here. Now hopefully it's not too dangerous, so I don't think we can really fight much in the moment. Okay, Volcanic World, it should be just here. There it is, Medusa class destroyer. The other thing about these missions as well, it actually shows you where stuff is. You can just go out and find really cool ships if you want as well. Because after we put the com relay on it, we can actually do whatever you want with it. We can capture it, we can scrap it, whatever you want. I'm actually going to leave all these here though, because we've got maximum capacity of our cargo. So I can't really be picking stuff up at the moment. It would just be a waste. Oh, is someone there? Hello? Oh, there's a drone. I reckon we can kill this. I know it's a it's a very like high DPS enemy AI frigate, but we have two mining drones and also we got some lasers and stuff. We're gonna give it a shot. Let's do this. If this thing catches either of us without our shields fully up, we're probably gonna die in one barrage. So we've got to be very careful here. I'm gonna literally stick to my ally like glue. There he is. Go mining drones, kill them! Iron drones are not great against shields, by the way. That's why I'm happy that I picked up this little um, anti-shield device here. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> That's not the plan. I should have given him a missile, I think. He just immediately abandoned me and left me to death. death. Okay, so we're not doing much damage at the moment, but when we get rid of the shields, uh, the armor, sorry, it should start going down, hopefully quite quickly. Whoa, no, 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 no. I need to get, I need to get away. Let's back up. Actually, what I'll do, I'm going to be a bit crazy here. Engage. Eliminate target. Kill him. This will force AI to actually fight him here. Oh, perfect. The shield's gone down. Look how many mining drones we have. Collect that ore, men. We must mine this hole. Dude, do what you're... Help me. <laughs> I feel like the other shepherd's not very cooperative, everybody. We'll give him some missiles afterwards so he actually helps me in battle. But we have one. The power of mining has succeeded. Come on. So close to death. Come on. Yes. Thank you for nothing. You are a complete coward. I'm going to ram you just to say... No, damn it. It's ended. <laughs> Perfect. Gain story point. Lost children. Cool. Done pretty well. Um, now, it does seem like we need to change some stuff around probably a little bit. But for now, let's go back to the civilized systems. Before we leave, though, is there anything around here we can look at? There is another drone over there by the looks of it. I want to try and level up a suit as fast as possible. Uh, so we can get some cool traits and stuff for our character. There's a... Oh, my God. This is... I'm not making this up, guys. This is just randomly what's happening in my series. This is probably the carry I was going to do as a flagship. I'm not, I'm not lying to you. This has literally just happened. I'm going to pick it up. <laughs> this is a fast carrier. I could use this very well. Uh, what is this? Hyperspace topography. This must be something new as a new patch because I do not recognize this at all. Um, I don't know what that means, but it is what it is. I guess I want to recover the ship. This is amazing. This is probably one of my favorite carriers in base game. It is so good. It's extremely fast, has like some pretty decent guns on it. 
It's pretty amazing. Uh, recover, yes. Now, the problem is, I'm not going to be able to use this properly because we have no strength at all. So I'm going to have to mothball it. We're going to have to go back to a nearby camp to actually try and use it. But what's it got on side? It has some dagger torpedo bombers. These guys are terrifying. <laughs> they will murder most big ships without any worry whatsoever. It is kind of damaged though. It has got some erratic fuel injectors, so not as fast. It's got some... Actually, does that make it faster? No, it does decrease speed. It's got degraded engines and compromised hulls. So there's a lot of bad things at the same time, but we have ourselves an awesome flagship very quickly in the series. I'm going to save that as well. This is an amazing start. The problem with the battle carrier is it's very slow, uh, but so even if I did manage to equip it somehow without going bankrupt, it will be very hard to actually uh, use in normal battles. Let's go back towards the starting system. We actually, no, let's go here. Jericho. It's a military base. So there might be some good, cool stuff we could pick up. Oh, wait, let's be careful. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. Oh, I thought that was an enemy for a second. It's okay, though. I don't really like using emergency burn there, but any of these ships can randomly murder us on the way back, so we've got to be very careful. Oh, wrong place, sorry. Yeah, because also, if you do a lot of exploring, you can also pick up tons of blueprints as well for when you make your own faction. Okay, perfect. Okay. Let's get some stuff, shall we? So I'm probably going to immediately switch over to using this, because this guy is just vastly better. The problem's going to be... Is actually getting enough crew for it we do have 40 grand though so if i quickly go in oh, one second everybody let me just use this this is actually the ability to start using jump gates it's unlocked automatically with the mod i'm using so it's pretty handy okay so i need more crew first off so we'll probably keep the drone tenders for now as well but can i afford the crew i can we only need 180 though so we don't that's a bit too much let's go down to 200 210 if we're going to use fighters and bombers now they will actually use up um, crew when they die. So we've got to make sure we have a bit, bit of crew in reserve, but not too much. At least while we're this poor. Actually, have a look at my ship, shall we? So I can't really see much in terms of what it's got on, onto it. What we can do, though, we repair ships at Dockyard, which will immediately just fix it up so we can see what it looks like normally. It does look a bit cursed because of all the D mods, but we can get rid of those over time. So it's already got itself a PD laser, and as I mentioned before, the Dagger Bombers. Now, what is the range of these? You've got to be very careful of carrier ranges because they don't always go that far a lot of the time. So these only go 4,000, um, I don't know what it would be, space meters, let's call them space meters, away from the target. So if we pick anything else, we want to probably make sure it has a very similar... Um, ooh, I, mu I must resist. <laughs> I must resist. We want to make sure it has a very similar uh, catch range. This is also 4,000 as well. So I think I'm happy with the Dagger Bombers. They'd be very strong against big ships, but we need something that can kill frigates and stuff. So I might go with... Ooh, what one? Let's go for the Gladiuses. These guys are very, very fast, and they should easily be able to dispatch a lot of enemies here. They're 100 speed more than the Broadswords. So they are very, very cool here. We'll go for these. And this should be a pretty good start. We've already got a pretty good uh, unit here. Let's go for myself being in command. I need to probably add some stuff as we go along. Recovery shuttles. This would be very useful, I think. Oh, they changed it. If you make it an S mod, it gets more powerful now. Oh, that's really cool. In the past, S mods used to just build stuff in. So that's really, really awesome. Anyway, uh, I'm going to pick the... Let's go for recovery shuttles. Just so I don't spend too much. I'm not going to build these in yet. We're just going to have it on there. Hyper velocity driver. Definitely a big W for us. That is a really powerful weapon. Uh, and the rest is probably going to be... Oh, they got no energy weapons. Damn it. <laughs> well, it's, it's a good start anyway. We've got a really powerful thing here. Let's just max out the vents and the capacity. And I'm pretty sure we should be good to go. Perfect. Uh, these guys, I guess I want to switch them out a little bit. What we can probably do, we'll cover some of these weapons here. So we can have a tactical laser at the front here. And I'm going to give these guys missiles. Ideally, I would have salamanders, but I don't think we're going to be able to get them. Ah, these aren't really great choices, everybody. I'm not going to lie. 
Don't give him that for now. As long as he's got some kind of, like, missile, it should be okay, I think. Sorted. So now I've got this stuff anyway. Let's see if we can maybe go and fight ourselves some enemies, shall we? So if I go and look at the nearby bounty board, we've got some problems over here with pirates. And over here. So let's go and see... Ooh. Let's go to this one. This is the same kind of thing going against pirates, but it's going against Ludic Path, which are a lot harder to deal with because they're a lot faster. I'd rather have a deal with pirates first than other ones. Let's get going right away. Ooh, I might need some... Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, did I take stuff off the black market? Yes, I did. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I, I may have broken some rules there, but it was for a good cause, okay? My cause. That should be enough fuel to get over there. It should be fine. Is that a big pirate fleet? Oh, guys, we have to join this battle. Let's go and take these guys down, shall we? Oh, it's a... Oh, perfect. So this is actually not only a looted path fleet, but it's also a merchant fleet. So if we get enough kills here... Okay, let's do this. Uh, let's go for... All deploy. I might get my guys just to follow me around, just so they don't die. I probably need to replace them as soon as possible. I'm pretty sure if I leave these guys to their own devices, they will immediately get murdered by anything <laughs> in the game. So... But if I get them to escort me, they stay close, and also we get the ability to have all the mine drones protect us as well. Now, just so we've got some enemies above us, I can't really see them at the moment. There's some allies over there. My current ship actually has an ability to pretty much do 50% more damage on all my fighters, so it'd be really powerful for bombing runs. Guys, engage! Let's do this. When they get close, I'll activate the ability, and hope we can get an instant kill on this mule here. Wait for it. Go. It's dead. I'm pretty sure we got it. Oh, no, it survived. Hopefully the Gladius will be able to finish it off anyway. Good job, guys. Oh, that's a funky looking ship. Manticore. I have seen these before, but normally they're not green, so it's a bit confusing. <laughs> oh, guard up, guard up. I got some Kopesh bombers. Cool. I probably just, because I got Gladius, I'm probably going to stick with killing the small frigates first, because we can probably outmaneuver them and wipe them out. Oh, that was a terrible bombing run, friend. I missed like crazy. You can easily get flanked in this game, so if I get rid of all the small ships, we should be pretty safe with our little um, carrier squad here. I love the miners helping out as well. Uh, guys, pull back. They're kind of a bit too grouped up, so we're not going to be very successful if we try and... Um... It's fine, it's fine. It wasn't fine. <laughs> I was trying to see if the point defense would work, but it didn't really... Uh as I would like hope there. I might need some help here. Uh, guys, if you can fire faster, that'd be brilliant. Oh, no. Oh, no. Back it off, man. Back off. He stopped firing missiles. Like, I need to get out of here. This is really bad. Oh, good. Very scary being a carrot. <laughs> Luckily, I got enough HP that I didn't get wiped out there. I think the Manticore was probably the most powerful ship they had. So now that he's out of the battle, we should be okay to mop up the rest of them. I normally play very, very aggressively. So it's going to be very weird for me playing a carrier. Because I'm normally just literally like right in front of them. I'm normally ramming them all the time. So I love watching them just swarm around and kill my enemies. Though. It looks really, really cool. Oh, is my engine turned off again? Oh, that's not good. I must have got hit by a salamander or something. We should be okay, though. We'd probably have to try and get, like, a good mix of fighters and bombers. Um, so, for instance, if I didn't have a bomber wing right now, we would be doing a lot more damage than we are. But, oh, that was beautiful. Good job, guys. If there's a lot of enemy, like, drones or frigates, we would be at a disadvantage then. So, you've got to have a good balance between the two types. Good job, guys. Okay, so that's the most of them dead. I love how cool this game. I just like how they like they zoom around really fast, speed king with the enemies. It's such a cool, like, well-designed game. It's really impressive every time I play it. So there's one enemy left. Never mind. <laughs> They're all dead. Now I actually helped out quite a bit in that battle, so we might get quite a lot of the money actually. Uh, join pursuits. Yes, we will send out our shepherds to go and uh, bring back the flock. Ah, oh, damn it. We can't take it. I'm sorry, everybody. I have to leave it be. 
loads of ore. They weren't... It, the cargo varies on what they're carrying. So in this case, we got a really duddy transport ship, only carrying ore. So nothing amazing. If you get, like, for instance, like a luxury good one or like a heavy machinery, you can make millions of pounds from taking over a convoy if you've got enough cargo room anyway. So, done. I'm surprised that didn't level me up, actually. You think it would have? So actually, we don't... We don't even left yet for the pirate base, have we? We literally just got here. <laughs> well, let's go and heal up anyway. I'll probably grab some more crew now. I've got a bit more money to sell. Let's get rid of all these. Ooh, actually, what we can do. Ah, not great. I was hoping to get some more um, stuff we can deploy, but we've only got mine lasers and stuff again. Okay, uh, let's get rid of all these. Salamander. Perfect. This is what I was on about earlier. This would be a really good thing to put on my... Shepherds, because even if they're not in combat, they're helping us out by shooting out these EMP missiles that go for engines. So they can save a lot of lives. I might also change them out a little bit. Oh, I'll leave them as it is. I think it'll be fine. Reaper torpedo. <laughs> Probably a bit overkill for a shepherd, but it'd be a very interesting build, that's for sure. Okay, cool. I'm happy with that. Let me just get a few more crew, because we've already lost a few from that last battle. Let's get out of here. Now, hopefully it's not too bad. The problem with uh, going to pirate bases at the start, pirate bases, is that you normally get overwhelmed sometimes, depending on what's going on. There's only a bounty in the system if there's a lot of pirates. <laughs> so, you know they're going to be there for sure. It's fine. I'm not actually at war with anybody, but the pirates and the path at the moment, so they're pretty safe. Let's drop in somewhere safe-ish. They're probably going to be here. Oh, there's enemies. Uh oh. There's somebody. Let's go and see who this is. Wait, wait, wait. Go on. So there's two enemy fleets here. But I think we should be okay as long as we keep our guys close to our chest. Also, the thing about, I love about this game is that the worse the situation is, the more XP you get. So it's a very good incentive to try and be as bold as possible. No, I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to go for the hound right away. The hounds are normally very rapid, so we take that guy out of the picture so he doesn't flank us. Kill him. Nice. Because we're playing a series like this, we probably have to... Be, it's going to be more about... Less about my personal prowess in combat and more about my ability to pick and destroy targets that are dangerous. Although, of course, as we get more carriers join us, it'd be a lot easier to do with any of this, because we've got a lot more backup. Come on, guys, keep going. I love that we've got a high velocity cannon, by the way. They are such a good weapon. I always pick them up as soon as I can. Oh, wow, we're just ravaging these guys. <laughs> they got no chance. Come on, finish them off. I like how even though we've got a really cool ship, we've still got the mining drones helping us out in the background, though. Come on. Need that. Definitely more bombers, that is for sure. And done. That was a very quick battle. I guess we can make it quite a good living from combat already, then. But I got, that was the latest bombing run I've ever seen in my entire life. Done. Um, pretty well. So we immediately got tons of money. Wait. A double bounty? What on earth? <laughs> Wait a second. Why did I get so much money? Is there two? <gasps> I don't know when it happened, but the other faction put a bounty on the same system. So we literally get double the money every time we kill somebody. That is... Um, it's just the best run I've ever had. <laughs> YouTuber luck, everybody. It's like, oh, just have all this cool stuff that never happens. Thank you, game. Thank you for your offering, Star Setter. Okay, so we've also got ourselves a level up, finally. Um, so, we can, in theory... We've already got this one. There are... I think this is going to be the next one we want to go for. 50% faster fighter replacement rate. That does sound extremely handy to have. Also, it means that we can convert um, pretty much... 
anything into a carrier. We won't be doing that though, because we just stick to the basic carriers, um, but still, pretty handy. There's also a lot of other really cool things you probably want to grab at some point. Uh, for now though, after this, I think we might want to zoom away and probably go for some combat skills so my guy's a little bit better at fighting. Uh, or, or maybe we go for this so we can get the, where is it? D mods disappear one. That's not that one, sorry. It's around here somewhere, I think it's that one. Chance to remove one D mod per month. That is extremely useful, especially if I got damaged ships. It makes them, uh, well, work a lot faster. Okay, done. The problem with this though is that we've only got a only eight fighter bays can have the buff, which is not really going to work out for our series. So I might change that between episodes so it's a lot higher. Because uh, if I want to be a fighter group, if I get three more fighter bays, I lose the perks pretty much immediately. So it's not great for our series playthrough. So we might tweak some things, but we we'll go from there. Anyway, so that, that guy dead. Let's go for another battle, shall we? There's, there's two enemy fleets this time. I don't think they're going to be very large though, looking at the radar range. Oh, this is perfect. Oh. <laughs> I take this! I start my battle with a throwing a rock at them. It might kill them, you never know. Hey guys, engage! There is hounds though, let's go for the hound first. The buffalo is going to be extremely easy to kill with these uh, bombers here. Oh, unless it... Def wow, that's pretty impressive. I still think the buffalo mark 2 is the weakest thing in the entire game. If anybody thinks of anything that's weaker, let me know. I'm, I guess, is it technically... It is a combat ship though, isn't it? So it's not really a freighter, technically. Wait. <laughs> the flares work really well there, actually. Oh, my rock from earlier blocked the shot. What are the chances? Good job, guys. Let's go for the hound next if you can. Okay, we probably want to try and... Because I've already got such a good ship, I want to find... I might just avoid all the freighter uh, carriers and just try and go for more combat for carriers like this guy. These are quite expensive. I think they're like a quarter of a million pounds to buy, if I recall. I might be wrong, by the way. I'm just going off really old memory here, so... Come on. <laughs> that missile was spinning around. He did not understand the mission. Okay, one shepherd left and then we are done here. There's only going to be so many um, enemies here, by the way. So once we do wrap up a little bit, there just be, won't be much reason to stay behind anymore. Oh, MRM Salamander's pod. Oh, nice. And also another small one. We can give that to the other um, shepherd, and we'll keep this for later on if we get like a carrier with some missile ships on it. Uh, let's get rid of all this cargo, shall we? Oh, this is an amazing start for loot here. Let's go and check out this nearby location. Are any of these military bases? No, no. So there's not going to be amazing gear here, but there might be something useful, we never know. Oh, is that a bit... Are they attacking the starport? Oh, it's another merchant vessel. Okay, what we got here then? Not really much for me to be excited for there. Has that got a fighter boo? No. Damn. It's okay. Let's just sell the goods we got though. Uh, let's equip you. What if I can... Sure there's, this is not any energy stocks. Then we can have like a long range tactical laser at the same time. I probably should switch these out with Vulcans though, just so they don't get attacked by nearby fighters if we get swarmed. As for me, are there any things I can equip? There are some point defense lasers. Which might actually be a pretty good shout, because we're not that... Oh, wait a second. Do a few variety ones. That there, that there. One more. Let's go for that. Just so we've got some point defense on all sides, so we're not just immediately getting swarmed by whatever comes near us. Um, what is this? Support fighter? An orbit reliable defense fighter. I've never even seen this one before. 
Their range is zero, <laughs> so they're not exactly that amazing, to be honest, but it is what it is. Okay, I guess... Oh, wait a second. Wait a minute, everybody. This bounty includes loot at path, right? It does. So we can get ourselves a lot of money if we actually manage to land a killing blow on that uh, cruiser there. Oh, that was not the right button. There you go. Yes, yeah, so I really want. If we get enough money, I'm probably going to go to a um, what would it be, Sindarian military world. At least from what I remember from playing base game ages ago, is that these herons are normally sold by the Sindarians anyway. So we want to try and get as many of them as possible. I think. How cool! Wait, where do these even come from? <laughs> Wait a minute. Why were they in the middle, of, like right at the bottom of the map? We can kind of see what's happening over here. If I target the big enemy cruiser, wherever it is. Oh, it's a star base. Oh, cool. Hey guys, we can go for that target over there. This is where the bomber is going to be pretty powerful. Go for it, guys. I think I got the most damage on that, so we should get paid for it. Yeah, I don't think they have much choice, chance fighting against us in the station. Stations are extremely powerful. I mean, look at look at those guns. Yeah, he's not surviving that. That's for sure. I feel so bad for them. So, I was one enemy left over there. I'm very sorry to apologize. <laughs> I gotta try and keep remember to turn the uh, attack mode off because it actually stops you from doing zero flux movement speed, which is a big deal if you're such a small, uh, slow ship. Perfect. That should be that. I'll send my combat shepherds off. Done. Ooh. Very handy if we keep this as well in case we get a missile slot later on. It's a very good support weapon, so they're very handy to have. Oh, I didn't get much of that one at all. I got hardly anything. Bit of a shame. This is an abandoned station. Oh, you can keep stuff here if you want to. There's also a looted church. Let's check all the nearby bases and see if we can find anything that could be an upgrade. Oh, are they sure they want to attack me? <laughs> that seems a bit crazy if you ask me. I won't deploy the Shepherds because they're injured right now. I will just go in by myself, though. Oh, him. Oh, he's dodging everything there. Oh, no, not too good. Managed to get away with not getting killed there. I don't know why these guys attacked me. <laughs> I completely outclassed them. I wonder if the uh, D mods on my vessel are making the AI think I'm weaker than I am. Yeah, I don't think they've got anything that can really take me down at this point, so we can just finish these guys off easily. That guy is very close to me, though. I've got to be a bit careful. Come on. Yeah, we might have to invest in, because uh, what I really want to do in this series as well, I really want to try out the new colony mechanics, so we'll try and make a base of our own as soon as possible with a little faction somewhere in the, in the cosmos. That was, they're firing these uh, torpedoes way too um, late at this point. Oh, too much. Too much loot! I think some of these guys might be attacking each other. Bastions can just declare war at any time, so there might be a lot of really random battles going on. Okay, is there anything of interest we can buy here? Not that I can see. I would consider getting one of these. They are kind of similar. It's like the big version of a shepherd. They are unfortunately stuck with the mining pods though, so maybe not. I kind of want to be able to pick and choose what I put on my ships, to be honest. Ooh. I kind of want to get that, but not yet, not yet. 
Okay, let's get rid of some stuff. Does, do I have any other slots on my ship apart from energy? No, it's all energy. Fair enough. I've got to try to keep some stuff for later. I will probably accidentally set it at some point, though. I normally do that kind of thing very often. It's a, bit, it's a big problem I have. Done. So, apart from that, we've already got ourselves nearly 100 grand, which is super awesome. There is also... I think we're running out of pirates to fight around here. A lot of them already died, I think. We can check one more system over here, though. See if they've got anything awesome as well. What do you guys have for sale? Um, not much to write home about. No. So, so I think probably the best course of action is for us to fly off somewhere and check prices at a nearby military base. Uh, so we're going to see if we can find one of those nearby quickly. So in my experience, it's normally these guys. So we'll head over this way and we'll check what they have for sale. What is this? Is that a giant... Oh, I thought they were enemies for a second. I thought I was going to get like a really cool kill with loads of mothball ships. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what we should check. The prism shipyard... Uh, prism port. This sells really, really high-end vessels. Uh, we might get something amazing if we can have a look. I don't think we can probably afford much at the moment, but at least we can see what we want to save up for. Okay, let's have a quick look. Iron Seller. Wow. <laughs> Look at all this. So that's the ship I already have, and it costs a lot of money. Um, is that normal cost for that? Okay, I'm a bit further off than I thought it was getting one of these then. We might have to try and rely on some smaller ships in the interim. We've also got some Drover, Carrier, Condor. Mm. Okay. Um, have a look at this guy. Destroyer class, two fighter bays. Max speed. Where's max speed? 75 compared to 40. I think the drove would be a better investment than the Condor. So we're going to grab one of these. Also, there should be some pretty advanced Trident Bombers. I don't think we can put this on because it's going to cost too much when it comes to our um, OP cost. Also, I can't afford it. It costs 50 grand for the Trident Bombers. That's ridiculous. Thunder Heavy Interceptors. These guys are amazing. They go really far away, 6,000 comets, and also they've got EMPs and stuff. They're really, really powerful. Let's see what we can put on here anyway, though. Uh, let's go for probably... Oh, they're, none of these are that good, to be honest. What's this? Gazer Dem. Interesting. No, we're going to go for two units of fighters first, though. We'll probably pick more Dagger Bombers. And I guess some broadswords. They kind of run out of money at this point, so we can't really do much more. I guess I can try and fit some point fits on here, but we're pretty much out of money at this point. Yeah, it's going to have to do. What is this? Once per combat, when the fighter replacement rate is reaches 40%, the fighter, uh, the fighter launch base is switched over to operation from B-deck. Oh! That's really cool. I love that. I've never seen that before. I might have just missed it, by the way. <laughs> Let's add on the recovery shuttles. Also, we probably want this as well. Reduce the rate at which fighter replacements uh, decrease and increase the rate at which it recovers. That does sound very, very useful. We pick that up and also we'll probably add it on to our main ship as well, if we can. Perfect. I'll take it. Cool. Okay, everybody, that's probably going to be it for today's episode, though. I hope that everyone has enjoyed the start of my carrier only Let's Play. I cannot believe we've already done such a good job. I was not expecting to find a Heron <laughs> in the first, like, 10 seconds of the video. Uh, actually, I say that, it wasn't just this. It's also a, what was it, the Legion-class battle carrier, which is pretty funny. But yeah, we're going to see how far we go. I really want to try and get as much money as possible to get more of these guys. And then we'll probably make a colony in probably two or three episodes, if we can, and start our own empire somewhere in the world. I wonder if there's a way I can force my own units to only use carriers. It should be quite interesting to see if we can figure that out. Apart from that though, thank you for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.